we lost a brother. But right now my heart is broken more for his three boys who lost their father and his wife who lost her husband. Now at 11, Loveland mourns the loss of a man whose job was to protect and serve. Good evening, I'm Julie O'Neill. The Tri-State remains in mourning. Take a look at the Cincinnati sign on the side of the Duke Energy Center right now. A black line runs through the middle, a sign of solidarity, banding the department together during a time of great grief. Officer Sonny Kim died after being shot by a suspect yesterday morning. He was responding to a report of a man with a gun on a Madisonville street. Police Chief Jeffrey Blackwell says the man who made that call was the shooter, setting himself up to die at the hands of an officer. Chief Blackwell says 21-year-old Trey Pierre Hummins ambushed Officer Kim. The 48-year-old died after being taken to UC Medical Center. And tonight we have the arrangements for Officer Kim. Thursday, the public is invited to a visitation from 2 until 8 o'clock at the CentOS Center. Officer Kim's funeral will take place Friday morning. Following the service, he will be buried at Gate of Heaven Cemetery.